everybody how y'all doing today. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all take good care of y'all self today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. And smack that doorbell for me, baby. You heard me? And keep God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm going to let this video take off, and I'm going to let you catch up at the end, baby. Baldwin posted to social media, show her filled with joy. Is she just a woman going? Brother on Christmas Eve. Abriel Baldwin was trying to break up an argument between her siblings when one of them pulled out a gun. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank reports on what has the sheriff furious and the changes he is now calling for. Photos Abrielle Baldwin posted to social media show her filled with joy. She's just a woman going about life, doing her thing uh, with her two kids, trying to make a living, trying to make it. On Christmas Eve, while at her grandmother's home on 22nd Avenue in Largo, she'd had enough of her brothers bickering. Demarcus and Darkus began pulling guns on one another. Abrielle told Demarcus, Quote, you all need to leave that stuff alone. Why are you trying to start it? It's Christmas. They both had been fighting over Christmas presents, with the 15-year-old Darkish jealous that their mom had spent more on gifts for 14-year-old Demarcus. After Abriel stepped in, Demarcus pulled a gun and fired, killing her, and sending her son and his nephew, an 11-month-old, falling to the ground. Then, Darkus pulled his own gun and shot Demarcus, leaving him badly injured. This proliferation of guns on the streets and guns in this area and guns in the hands of these kids, this is the worst I've ever seen it. I don't think we've ever seen it this bad. The sheriff says the area around 22nd Avenue in Largo has been subject to extra patrols lately, with 13 gun-related incidents since September. He says his office has gotten reports of 17 guns stolen from to, to social media show her filled with joy. She's just a woman going about life, doing her thing uh, with her two kids, trying to make a living, trying to make it. On Christmas Eve, while at her grandmother's home on 22nd Avenue in Largo, she'd had enough of her brothers bickering. Demarcus and Darkus began pulling guns on one another. Abrielle told Demarcus, quote, you all need to leave that stuff alone. Why are you trying to start it? It's Christmas. They both had been fighting over Christmas presents, with the 15-year-old Darkus jealous that their mom had spent more on gifts for 14-year-old Demarcus. After Abriel stepped in, Demarcus pulled a gun and fired, killing her and sending her son and his nephew, an 11-month-old, falling to the ground. Then, Darkus pulled his own gun and shot Demarcus, leaving him badly injured. This proliferation of guns on the streets and guns in this area and guns in the hands of these kids, this is the worst I've ever seen. I don't think we've ever seen it this bad. The sheriff says the area around 22nd Avenue in Largo has been subject to extra patrols lately, with 13 gun-related incidents since September. He says his office has gotten reports of 17 guns stolen from unlocked cars. He suspects the guns used in this shooting were obtained that way. And people can't leave their car doors unlocked and leave their guns in their cars. It's got to stop. Further, the sheriff says both juveniles have been let off the hook too easily by the juvenile justice system, particularly DeMarcus, who has a history of violence against school staff and law enforcement. The sheriff is calling for tougher laws. They are not getting the consequences that they should get that keep them from doing it again and again and again. Abriel was only 23, and now her kids, an 11-month-old and a 6-year-old, will have to grow up without her. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News. Teen gun-related incidents since September. He says his office has gotten reports of 17 guns stolen from unlocked cars. He suspects the guns used in this shooting were obtained that way. And people can't leave their car doors unlocked and leave their guns in their cars. It's got to stop. Further, the sheriff says both juveniles have been let off the hook too easily by the juvenile justice system, particularly Demarcus, right, who has a history of violence against video, school baby, staff. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't even gonna make one, but I just ran across this here. You feel me? Cause I'm here, I'm ready to crash. You heard me? But uh, you know, I try. You know what I'm saying? Stay on my ground. Stay constantly doing it. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Give the people some, you know what I'm saying? Cause the ones that been still watching me, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let me say this here, right? Nah. Them 
some young selfish kids. They selfish. They is real selfish. And another thing too, hmm, the old girl knows she wrong for that. They wrong, wrong for that. You feel me? Do y'all know what's going on? Do they mama know what's going on around the world? As a parent, you know your kids got them toolies in the house. Her sis sister, the one 20 some years old, she know that her young brothers have toolies in the house. She know these jits had that toolie in the house. What's wrong? Why ain't nobody trying to take the gun from them? You ain't now I understand the sister trying to creep and get the gun to take the gun. But the mama, you the parent. Where's the mama at? Why she didn't take the guns? Who they were staying with? The mama or they were staying with the sister? You feel me? Well, I'm hearing about it like they were all of them in the same crib. You feel me? But at the same time, these some selfish kids. Why you going to shoot your sister dip because she was trying to confuse the situation? You could tell he had jealousy in his heart about his sister. He had jealousy in his heart about his brother. But the mama wrong because, let me tell you something. Even though if you're going to discipline a child, and you buy one kid's a present and don't buy the other kid, if you can't do and treat equal, equal, you know what I'm saying? You got to do the right thing. You can't buy one present for more than one present for a child because the child going to be like, some child feel like, you know, what, he better than me? What, you, you choosing him over me? That's how kids think, especially dumb kids. See, these dumb kids, they want to be thugs. They want to be gangsters. They want to ride around, chief and smoke and do what they do. You feel what I'm saying? Knowing them not caught is frying their brain because what type of sense of media that they smoking. So it, what it's doing is crashing they they uh, uh they notebook up here and they ain't got a, they ain't got common sense. You feel me? I'm trying to figure out why the old girl buy one dude more present than the other one. It don't matter who was bad and who was good. Both of them bad. Or guess what? Both of them had toolies. Both of them were scrapped with toolies on them. So what make her buy one kid more present than the other child? I don't get that. If both of them carrying toolies, both of them should be get treated the same way. You know what I'm saying? I blame the mama for losing her daughter because if by her mama being a parent she should have came and took them guns man from with them jits or put them jits in jail no matter what and by his sister knew she knew that her brother might listen to her or might not but she didn't want to really press her because she knew how to her brother is you feel me but it should have been the old girl stepping in, man. Her daughter would never lost her life if the old girl would have been searching. Why them two knuckleheads got Thule ain't registered in their name in y'all spot. And you tell me you ain't snatched nothing from them? What? Man, I remember telling you something. I wish my jit would have been trying me like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm the old boy. I'm sitting in the crib. No, partner. You ain't even had nothing to hear. You know what I'm saying? But you know, man, this is just a stupid situation, man. I'm to my man. This is just a sad case, man. For the mama. Me, I blame the mama for everything. You know what I'm saying, man? Because, man, she could have been doing the right thing. No one these numbers here were bad. They don't been in trouble before. And, yeah, and you know what I'm saying? And they be coming trying to 
see, sometimes, sometimes it don't take the daddy being in the house, regardless. Because you find some kids, if they shot her, his own sister, imagine what they would have did to their mama. Imagine what they did to their old boy. That's their blood. He still shot his blood sister. That's about trying to confuse the situation. Now imagine if it would have been his old boy, old girl there with him trying to do that. He probably shot the old girl, the sister, and the old boy. You feel me? So happened the brother got, other brother got mad. He shot his brother from shooting his, his sister and killing his sister, man. You feel me? So, the mean, y'all tell me, come and let me know. You know what I'm saying? It don't have nothing to do with no father in the house, nothing like that. Because kids, now these days, they're killing their own parents, man. Because they want to do something. Because the devil got these kids' mind trapped. Because you can control a kid by putting them out. I don't care if they're 14, 15, 16 years old. Get what you do. When you kick them out your crib, you die 911. I kick my son out. Y'all need to come pick him up. He on woo woo woo. -woo. He's leaving the house. Take him off. Take him somewhere. I don't want him back in my house no more. You feel me? That's how you supposed to do it. That means you following, you know what I'm saying, the law. You call, pick him up, tell him to take him somewhere. Woo woo woo. He got such and such on a gun. Nobody got out my house. You feel me? I don't want him in my house. And he ain't never coming back in here. And don't be sore for him. You feel me? Love him. Leave him out there. Because God say, once you do that, he wants you to give, give him to him. Don't be trying to be feeling so sorry. You got to bring your kids back in the crib. Look at what they doing. Here it go again. It might start creeping up real, real slow. Next thing you know, guess what? Now they doing the same thing again. You know what I'm saying? Because now they trying to be slicker by hiding stuff from you. So you won't catch them. They'll start hiding stuff in the backyard. But they know they can't hide in the crib no more because you plumped them through their room, right? So they're going to be hiding stuff in the backyard, in the shed, put it in a little box, put it in the ground. You know what I'm saying? Put it in their utility room. You feel me? Y'all parents got to be a step ahead, man. I always, I always was a step ahead in my jets. You know what I'm saying? They used to look at me, but they knew I was a step ahead of them. They knew I ain't playing. Because I was, I was in the streets practicing my whole life. You feel me? So you can't outsmart the person that's been out there doing something. And you just coming up because you think I'm getting older. Or you think I'm, you know what I'm saying, skipping another beat up in here. This notebook? Play with it. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't with that. You feel me? I blame the mama because she supposed to been there. She ain't supposed to buy the other kid nothing. More than the other child because ain't now one of deserve never Christians. You, they knew how stubborn. I'm gonna say it right. They knew how stubborn the Negro was. She knew how stubborn her own kids was. Parents know. So why you do the unthinkable by getting another child more stuff than the other child? Both of them. I don't care who deserved it. Who the man? Look here. You supposed to have been standing on team with all both of them. Even, even, it'll stop a lot of confusion. If you know how your household is, if you know how your kids is, make it make sense, man. What's wrong with some of y'all parents? I never did my kids like that. Even though I was raising two other kids, wasn't none of mine. You feel me? But when I met her, she had two kids. But I never, ever, when I went shopping, when I was doing Holidays then, now I don't. When I was doing holidays then, they can always tell you. If they see my video, and I hope they comment too, then y'all see what I'm talking about. If they watch my video, I don't know. They'll tell you, I never treat my kids better than them. If I'm in the crib, you know what I'm saying? And I'm helping, you know, taking care of you, feed you, doing the right thing, guess what? Whatever I buy my blood kids, these kids get the same. I never switch side. I never, if I catch them arguing with I look here, ain't none of that. Y'all family, man. So stick together. 
You feel me? Ain't nothing just fighting each other. Woo, 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 woo. I don't play that. I never treat my kids better than somebody else's kid, man. If I'm with that person, everybody got the even, even. And I, I was standing on 10 for all of them. I ain't play that. See, that was wrong. Parents need to start being wishy-washy with certain kids. Because kids, they is real sentimental. And they kid because you letting them run around doing what they want to do. Sing my head, probably smoking, drinking. You see one of them showing a gun like this here on the phone. You feel me? Because you know what? He wasn't nothing but a dupe boy. He a dupe boy. He a copycatter. This way, if you everybody want to be a dupe boy, everybody want to be a copycatter. When you be a copycatter, when you be a dupe boy, guess what? This what you get. This what you deserve. But your sister did not deserve this. You feel me? I blame her old girl, man. Facts. She knew them jits had, had, had that fiber in them crib, man. She knew that. Guarantee you. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't for the sister to be the bigger person to take the present. You know what I'm saying? It was up to the old girl to come there and stand up, man. To stand up. Now look, her daughter gone. Daughter got kids, man. They ain't got no old girl because of what? Because her stupid brother, because he was jealous of his brother, and he was jealous of his sister. It made him so mad, so furious, like he blanked out because he was hurt because his other brother got more than him. So he took his sister life because the things that he wanted, some that he wanted, some that was meant to him that what his brother had got, he wanted the same. If his brother got certain stuff and he ain't got, you could tell he got mad about that. Anything his brother was wearing or wanted, he wanted the same thing as his brother. Because you know why? He trying to follow his brother lead. He trying to be a copycat of his brother. Start to stand in his own lane. You feel me? I don't care what nobody say. If you told a gun, and you walk around the street, you think you're a grown man out here in this world. You feel me? You act like a grown adult. You're going to get zipped up out of here like a adult. You hear me? And that's right. I'm going to tell y'all something. These young just getting outrageous. And I don't care what they parents do, what they y'all be crying all y'all want. Man, look at man. I stand on 10 by me. Play with me if you want to. I don't care how old they can be. They can be 11 years old. You bigger than me. I see you with a fire. And you trying to hit me up? Oh. What? Sorry, not real. I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel no pity. No pity about nothing. Now you're lying to y'all. I wouldn't feel no pity. You feel what I'm saying? Because mothers, they know what they, ch if they quit, get off their behind, even though you work hard. My mama worked the hard. She worked the, I'm talking about some long hours, right? But she never slipped up by plumbing in the room. Never. So I never brought nothing there at my old girl crib. Anything I did, right? It was away from the house. You know what I'm saying? You go high stuff at the railroad tracks. That was my thing. Was high stuff at the railroad tracks. You feel what I'm saying? Nobody don't know. They might walk the track, but there ain't certain spots in the tracks. People ain't gonna be doing all that there, man. They ain't gonna be doing all that. I'm telling you. That's how smooth I was. But I never brought that to my old girl crib because I know she was she was like that. You know what I'm saying? And I want to, you know, I know I was doing wrong in the streets, but my old girl was more important than what I was doing because I was trying to do the right thing to help my old girl. You feel me? These knuckleheads here, they weren't thinking about their old girl. They weren't thinking about their sister. They weren't thinking about each other. You know what I'm saying? He was thinking about himself, by himself. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the guns make these gist man think they rough and they tough. But once they get behind that cage, they go to crying like a baby. Crying like a baby. Anyway, my good people, you know what I'm saying? This shit upset me, man. I'm not going to lie. Or they're going to be on here long. You know, I think this right here woke me slap up. But you know what I'm saying? I'm finna get ready to crash out. You feel me? But 
I'm going to try to put this up tonight. You know what I'm saying? I hope it don't take long. I know I've been yapping and yapping it, but it's just a sixth situation right here, man. You feel me? I stand on that. You know what I'm saying? I blame everything on the moment, man. But anyway, my good people, you know what I'm saying? Y'all come and let me know who y'all think who fought it is. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Somebody knew they just had this, the, the file on the crib. You feel me? And I think the old girl know, and I think the sister know, but the sister really want to press the issue because she probably know how her brothers is. But anyway, my good people, you know what I'm saying? That's all I got for y'all. I'm going to scratch that so y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. And smack that doorbell for me, baby. You heard me? And keep God for me over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone.